Hey, it's Eric Scott, and welcome to another Creative Spark Plugs, where I bring you just simple ideas to get your creativity sparked. Um, and today I'm going to share with you uh, an idea, a technique that I use all the time. And if you've ever taken a workshop with me, then you're going to be familiar with this. But it's something that you can come back to again and again. And that idea is stream of consciousness writing. So uh, I think a lot of folks have adopted this because it's a great way just to get something down, um, to to tap into the unconscious, to let something just kind of flow out of you. And you you might be surprised actually what you get into whenever you do that. So this is a creative writing technique. So um, I've adapted it to the visual journal. So that's where I'm going to write. So you're going to need a surface to write on. I'm going to write in my visual journal um, and something to write with, a pen, a pencil, something where you're not going to have to dip it into paint or dip it into ink, something that you can write quickly with without stopping, because that's the key of this. It's a it's a stream of consciousness. It, you want the words to flow. So the idea is, um, you know, we set a timer and you you write for a certain amount of time. Um, for me, I'm going to fill up a certain space. So, um, but yeah, so you can always set a timer. I, seven minutes is always good or five minutes. Um, but like I said, you could always think about like having a certain space that you're going to fill up and uh, just writing until you, you fill that up. Um, uh, author. Julia Cameron um, talks about morning pages. So if you're familiar with her book, The Artist's Way, uh, you might be familiar with morning pages. Again, it's that uh, stream of consciousness, but she talks about doing it for three pages longhand. So this is something definitely, you know, use a pen or a pencil, don't type it up on a computer, um, because there's something about that physical connection between your hand and your brain. And that's that's what you want to think about it as, like your hand is connected directly to your brain and you're just letting the words flow. And so wherever they go, they go. So it's a stream. It's going to flow where it wants to. So you might have a topic, you might have an idea, and then it's it might take you in a totally different direction. So um, yeah, so think about that. So um, allow the words to flow. If you go off topic, off your prompt, that's fine. You, you can kind of um, think about whatever you want okay um and you know it's when when you go off topic sometimes you get into areas where that's where it's hard to predict what what uh, you come up with i always think of this writing as a great place to get ideas and we'll talk a little bit more about that after we're done writing the, uh, the writing so anyway let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and i'm going to flip this over Okay, so I've got my journal. I've got a couple of different pens. Um, I've decided to write on this space where I have something going, but I don't have anything written yet. Um, I think I'm gonna, just going to take my pen, actually not that pen, this pen, and I want to make a space. So I think I'm going to take a make a column down here. So that's the first thing. So if you're thinking about like, oh, I want to fill in a space, you know, are you going to write an entire page? Which within seven minutes you might be able to do that. So. Yeah, you know, I could just fill up a whole page. I, excuse me, I write really small. So I know that um, it's going to take me a little bit to, to write this. And um, okay, so I have my space. I'm going to put this pen away because I'm going to use this pen to do my writing. And then, um, yeah, we'll kind of see where it goes. So I've got my space ready. Now I want to think about, um, like, what am I going to write? Actually, let me go ahead and flip this back because I want to talk to you. I, want, I feel like I'm talking to you now. So with this, you can use anything as a prompt. Um, if you're not too sure, I, I always think of like big ideas and big ideas are kind of big, broad ideas or issues or concerns. And um, there's they're, they're, they're not like a very singular notion. So uh, identity is one or power or connection. Um, you know, so really you could, you, almost anything could be a big idea. Um, so that could be something. So, um, I have five that I usually typically use. So identity, memory, place, connection, solitude. Those are five. Sometimes I, I change them around and I might throw in time as another one. Um, with younger students, a lot of times I use celebration, um, or maybe there's just an idea on your mind right now. So maybe you're thinking about something and you just want to write about that. So, you know, feel free to pick one of my ideas 
or feel free to to come up with your own. Um, another idea for this is to pick a random word out of a a book. Um, so you know, if you happen to have a, a book, open it a random page, point to a word. Sometimes you land on a definite article like the or a or an, and you're like, oh, I can't do that. But maybe there's a word near it, so maybe you pick one of those and trust your gut. Like, what what do you feel like writing about? So um, anyway, when we do this, you're going to start. And um, what I like to do is just to spend about a minute and just kind of think about what I'm writing about, trying to like write a first word, like the first sentence, trying to compose it, not write it. So we're going to spend about a minute thinking about our word, our, our, our prompt, where we're going to begin, maybe starting to write about that first, you know, starting to compose that first sentence in our head. And after that minute, then we'll start. And then when you start writing, like I mentioned, it's it's like your your head is connected directly to your hand and you're just going to write. And wherever you go, if you go off topic, like I said, that's OK if you do that. Don't worry about spelling, grammar or punctuation. The key is to write and keep writing without stopping. Uh, Julia Cameron calls it a brain dump, and that's exactly what we're doing. So, you know, if you get, get to a point where you're like, oh, my, my mind just went blank. I can't think of anything else to write. That's what you should be writing. Or maybe go back and write that prompt over and over again until you kind of pick it back up. But um, I find that sometimes if this is your first time doing it, it can be a little bit weird, un uncomfortable, awkward. Um, and then as you do it more and more, it becomes very comfortable and very easy to do. So let's go ahead and switch it back and we'll go ahead and and get writing. All right, so um, I'm gonna use a word that I, I actually used for the first time the other day and I really liked it. And that word is magic. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write that down. And uh, that's gonna be my prompt is magic. But like I said, you use whatever you want. I'm, I'm gonna set a timer and um, that timer, I'm just gonna set it for a minute because I'm gonna write to fill this space. So I don't need it um, for the whole thing. Uh, but start thinking about what you want to write if you're writing along. And uh, let's see, where am I? <clears throat> All right. So like I said, I'm going to set it for one minute and just I'm going to think about it. So one minute can kind of seem kind of long, but let's go ahead and start one minute. So if you're writing along, think about composing that first sentence. So you've chosen your word. Start thinking about how are you going to start it? What's that first sentence? All right, so a minute is up. Let's go ahead and start writing. Like I said, I'm going to write until I fill that space.
All right, I'm done writing. And now I want to just mention how, let me go ahead and flip this over. I just want to mention how we can use this writing as a place for ideas. So we started with whatever word, whatever prompt you chose. And now I, I have this writing, this column of writing. And there are certain words and phrases that came up that might be interesting to take a look at. So um, yeah, so what, what I want you to do now, if you've done this writing or when you do this writing, is to look it over. You don't have to read it word for word, but look it over and try to find some key words and phrases, things that really stand out. Actually, they're they're more big ideas. And uh, usually you know them because you you can feel them. There's something about them. You, you might read a short phrase and be like, oh, there's something powerful there or you're drawn to it. So you're trusting your intuition. You're trusting your gut. So let's go ahead and flip this back over and um, I'll do this and we'll wrap it up. All right, so I'm just gonna look over my words. Uh, kind of thinking about or oops something fell um thinking about what I've written here and I'm just going to try to find three or four or five kind of words or short phrases so uh, I have my black pen again and I, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to highlight those words maybe I'll rewrite them so here's the word conspires I like that word um, conspire so the the universe conspires with us I'm not picking the word I started with I mean I use the word magic and I, I, I look, uh, I've used it um, several times, but I'm not going to pick that. But here's one faith. I like that, that word faith. So I'm using a, a thicker pen. I'm using a different type of writing style. Just kind of go through. Oh, here's one change. Here's believe. Ah, here's one. Um, cast spells. So that might seem very, like these others, like faith and change and believe that they might seem like really big ideas and oh, cast spells. But there's something about that that I like. And I, I feel like not thinking of it literally though. Um, so anyway, I've got what I've got five words and one short or five words and uh short phrases so now one of these might speak to me um and so i can take one of those words uh, that one of those words that's really speaking to me and use that maybe it becomes the theme of a journal page maybe it's something that i do some more writing with but it becomes the nugget i always think of this as like a gold mine for ideas and going back through and highlighting those words is me picking out the little golden nuggets, um, things that I feel like have value that I might want to explore. So anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of it. It's a simple idea, but that stream of consciousness writing, it can really lead you kind of into areas that maybe you wouldn't consciously go or consciously think of because you're following that stream, that flow of words, um, and then mining the words for those little nuggets can give you a starting point. So um, maybe one of one of your words is sparking an idea for a painting or an idea for a poem. Maybe, like I said, it's going to become a journal page. Maybe you do some more writing. Maybe all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've got this whole vision or this story or all, whatever. So it sometimes it's amazing how one of these ideas will spark something more. So hopefully it has done that for you. Um, so I appreciate you joining me once again for a, another creative spark plugs. And I look forward for you, look forward to you joining me uh, in the future for more. But uh, in the meantime, please hit that like button um, and subscribe so that you can always be notified whenever I have a new video out. And uh, again, share, share this uh, with your friends, show them kind of like, hey, check this out. You know, this, these are some good ideas for getting our creative spark. So um, yeah, so think about, think about that. And I'll, don't forget to share what you have done in response. I'd love to see that. So make sure you uh, tag me on social media. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me once again and happy creating.